OpenAI Sora was recently announced, and if you didn't already know, Sora is OpenAI's text-to-video generator. There have been a bunch of experimental AI text-to-video generators in the past, but they've only ever been able to create AI-generated video of only a few seconds long. And the footage was not at all convincing, but this new AI video tool, OpenAI Sora, is absolutely game-changing as it can make amazing videos of one minute long, and they are incredibly realistic. Like, you would never have any idea that this video here is an AI generated video made by OpenAI Sora's text to video engine. Let's take an inside look at OpenAI Sora. OpenAI Sora can't actually be used by the public just yet, but you can come to the website openai.com slash Sora to check out 48 different Sora example videos, along with a whole bunch of information about the inspiration behind Sora, as well as what stage it's at in its development. It mentions here that with Sora, you can create text to video of up to a minute long while maintaining crisp detail, as you can see in this first example, which was prompted by this and makes human animation look completely effortless. Looking over at this next example, this is an absolutely fantastic rendition of what woolly mammoths might have looked like. One of the hardest things I've seen in AI generated video is getting it to replicate what human faces look like. No software until Sora has made anything look anywhere near as convincing as this. You can prompt OpenAI Sora to give you the perspective of a drone orbit, or go ahead and give it the prompt to make a 3D animation. The detail on this one is absolutely insane. You've seen origami style images from AI image generators, but now you can do it with AI generated video. There's a few more examples here, including a really detailed video of a peacock, a photorealistic close up of a storm in a teacup with two pirate ships battling each other. Really cool effect. And just another example here of how well it generates video with humans in it. And you can even see he's reading the book to himself here. Really nice video here with such a short prompt as well. Scrolling down a little bit further and we can see just a little bit more information about who it's accessible to. At the moment, it's limited to just people that are either visual artists, designers and filmmakers. And the idea here is OpenAI are trying to gather as much feedback from professionals to help them fine tune before it gets released to the public for general use. This carousel of examples helps demonstrate what you can create from a sweeping cinematic film set to a close up of an animated sand glass to an extreme close-up of a realistic human eye and you can really see the detail here especially with the eyelashes absolutely mind-blowing next a 3d animation from such a short prompt which is a cartoon character disco dances this really shows how powerful OpenAI Sora is with these such short prompts Sora sometimes goes ahead with its own creativity with this crane or drone shot which wasn't even in the prompt and it's done a great job of generating a large number of humans another example of Sora doing a 3d animation with a short prompt along with a creative idea with some TVs and then another 3d animation so there is so much realistic video with its AI video tool as Sora can generate complex scenes with multiple characters and you can give it direction on specific types of motion such as with this great effect of a chase camera behind this vehicle. So I can keep this video short. I won't run through all the videos on this particular carousel but they are amazing. One reason that Sora is so powerful is because it has a deep understanding of language meaning that it can understand and best interpret what kind of prompt you're giving it to give you the best results possible. Skimming through these we've got a realistic art gallery, snow in Tokyo, a pot plant here and a really cool detailed AI generated video of a robot. Again, an amazing output from such a short prompt. OpenAI does go on to point out a few weaknesses that it has, you know, such as simulating the physics of a complex scene or having problems with spatial data. But that's understandable as this is a new model and I'm sure it's going to rapidly evolve over a short amount of time. So we can see there's a few examples here where the camera's not behaving itself with this treadmill. These dogs seem to be appearing out of nowhere as well as obviously overlapping each other. And the physics with this basketball is pretty good but then there's some problems at the end here where the ball passes through the ring and here this chunk of clay seems to come from nowhere so it doesn't really work and upon looking at this for the first time it looks believable the main character whose birthday it is looks good but in the background you can see the hands and the clapping and the waving it doesn't really look good especially with extra fingers here's a little mention on safety to make sure people are using this responsibly and not for inappropriate content the last set of Sora examples and then a bit of a discussion around its research techniques. We can't yet use OpenAI Sora, but check out this video next to see the top five best free AI image generators that are available now. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.